Hello, book foxes. Welcome back to At The Book Fox Summaries, where we keep books simplified for your busy life, one summary at a time. Today, we're diving into a literary classic that won the Pulitzer Prize for Fiction in 1953 and contributed to its author winning the Nobel Prize in Literature in 1954. We're talking about Ernest Hemingway's masterpiece, The Old Man and the Sea. The Old Man and the Sea is a novella that tells the story of an aging Cuban fisherman named Santiago, who engages in an epic battle with a giant marlin far out in the Gulf Stream. This tale is not just about a fishing expedition, but a profound narrative exploring themes of perseverance, struggle, and the dignity of the human spirit. Before we dive into the summary, let's briefly touch on the author. Ernest Hemingway, known for his distinct writing style characterized by economy and understatement, was an influential figure in 20th century literature. The Old Man and the Sea, published in 1952, is one of his most celebrated works, marking a comeback in his literary career. Santiago has gone 84 days without catching a fish. Despite this unlucky streak, his spirit remains unbroken. He is determined to prove his skill and endurance. Early in the story, we see Santiago as a figure of resilience, battling not just the sea but also his own aging body. His young apprentice Manolin, who deeply cares for Santiago, is forbidden by his parents to fish with the old man due to his bad luck. Nonetheless, Manolin helps Santiago by bringing him food and bait, and their bond is one of mutual respect and affection. Key Themes and Phrases Hemingway's novella is rich with themes of determination, pride, and the interconnection between humans and nature. Here are some notable phrases from the book that capture these themes. He was an old man who fished alone in a skiff in the Gulf Stream, and he had gone 84 days now without taking a fish. This opening line sets the stage for Santiago's epic struggle, highlighting his isolation and determination. A man can be destroyed, but not defeated. This phrase encapsulates Santiago's indomitable spirit, emphasizing that physical destruction does not equate to spiritual defeat. But man is not made for defeat. A man can be destroyed but not defeated. This reiteration underscores the central theme of resilience and the enduring human spirit. The fish is my brother. Santiago's respect for the marlin reflects his deep connection with nature and the noble struggle both he and the fish endure. On the 85th day, Santiago sets out alone, determined to end his unlucky streak. He sails far beyond the usual fishing grounds, hoping to catch a big one. His patience pays off when he hooks a giant marlin. What follows is a grueling battle that lasts three days and three nights, testing Santiago's strength, willpower, and endurance. Santiago's struggle with the marlin is depicted with vivid detail. He holds the line with bleeding hands, endures the searing sun, and battles fatigue and pain. The marlin itself is portrayed as a majestic creature, and Santiago's respect for it grows as the battle drags on. He often speaks to the fish, calling it his brother and acknowledging the shared struggle for survival. Finally, Santiago succeeds in catching the marlin, which is longer than his boat. He ties it to the side of his skiff and begins the journey home. However, his victory is bittersweet. The marlin's blood attracts sharks, and Santiago fights desperately to protect his prize. Despite killing several sharks, he cannot prevent them from devouring the marlin. By the time he reaches shore, only the skeleton of the great fish remains. Exhausted and defeated, Santiago returns to his shack and collapses into a deep sleep. The villagers are amazed by the size of the marlin's skeleton, realizing the magnitude of Santiago's struggle. Manolin, seeing Santiago's hands and understanding the epic battle he endured, vows to fish with him again despite his parents' disapproval. The old man in the sea is rich in symbolism. Santiago represents the human condition, enduring hardships with grace and dignity. The marlin symbolizes the ultimate challenge, a worthy opponent that brings out the best in Santiago. The sharks, on the other hand, represent the destructive forces that threaten to undermine human achievement. Despite losing the marlin, Santiago emerges as a hero, not because he caught the fish, but because of his unyielding spirit. Application to Life Today the Old Man and the Sea teaches us valuable lessons about resilience, the honor in struggle, and the deep respect we owe to nature. Santiago's journey is a testament to the idea that even in the face of apparent defeat, the human spirit remains undefeated. This story encourages us to persevere, maintain our dignity, and find meaning in our struggles. 
Before we go, we ask for your help. Please subscribe to our channel. Let us know in the comments what book you'd like us to cover next. Hit the like button, share with friends and turn on notifications to stay in the loop. See you next time.